This is week five at a glance, May 4th through 8th. The math focus this week is tens and ones. The reading focus is long vowels, A and I. And our expedition writing focus is our trees unit, where we will learn about the main idea and key details of an informational text. Students know what a sugar maple tree needs and what living things depend on it. Monday. Writing expedition work is a book response. How much did you like this book? Color one. Draw your favorite part of the book in the box. Don't forget to write the title and the author's name and your name and date. Next for Monday, reading. Read decodable for 10 minutes. The decodable this week is time to bake. The link is here, type it in and it will take you to my YouTube channel where you can listen to Time to Bake. You will listen to the book, then you will Circle the sight words that you can see in the book. Then, and, a, is, see, will. Then draw and label the different characters in the book. Next for reading is sight word practice. On Monday, you will do this worksheet for sight words what, when, then. You will cover, color the correctly spelled what words, correctly spelled when words, and correctly spelled then words. Next is your reading log. Make sure you read for 20 minutes every day. And remember, if you run out of books to read, at the beginning of this packet, there is a link to Brightly Storytime. Type in this URL into the top and you will find many books to read. And then you can write about them. Next for week five, Monday, is math. Complete the count by tens worksheet. Watch this video on this lesson, then complete the worksheet. If you type in the link, it'll take you to the video. This is module five, lesson three. You will get lots of practice of counting a group of 10 and more and counting up from 10. Next is fitness, Cosmic Kids Yoga, and you can type in the URL to the top and it will take you to Cosmic Kids Yoga. Or you can search in YouTube Cosmic Kids Yoga. Click on the page and you can choose from many different videos. After fitness on Monday, please choose a how to draw video 
type in the URL, and it will bring you to this YouTube channel. Pick something you would like to learn how to draw, and then follow along. Next is your online work. On Monday, RAS kids, please read for 15 minutes and please do the IXL lesson D.16. You will go to IXL.com, type in your child's username and password, sign in. Click Learning, click Kindergarten, and check which lesson you need to find D.16. You will go to letter D, and lesson 16 count blocks up to 20. Your child will complete this lesson. And try to get a score of 100. That's Monday's work. Next is Tuesday. Tuesday, writing, expert tree note catcher. Please listen to Sugar Maple Tree on my YouTube channel. Go to my YouTube channel. and play the Sugar Maple Tree video. The video is in your resources pack on page 39. Like I said, it's in your resources pack. on page 39. Your child can follow along listening to me read and they can read it along with me. This text is very important and will be used for all the writing expedition lessons this week. After writing on Tuesday, the reading work is time to bake again. Reading it for 10 minutes along with my YouTube video. Practicing this song also on my YouTube channel. It goes to the tunes of the ants are marching one by one. The vowels have something important to say, hurrah, hurrah, and so on. You can find this video in my, my YouTube channel as well. It's a long vowel song, and it's important because long vowels are a brand new concept. Next is a reading log. Again, 20 minutes. After that is your math work. Please have your child complete his two worksheets. Next is fitness. Cosmic Kids Yoga, again, click on the link or type it in. 
And lastly, drawing and online computer work. Online lesson for IXL is IXL LAP.2. LA stands for language arts. So instead of math this time, there is an IXL language arts lesson. You're going to go to IXL again, sign in, but this time click language arts. Click kindergarten. And let's go back to the lesson to figure out what we have to do today. P.2. So you're going to go to IXL. Lesson P.2, which makes sense. Long vowels, find the long A. P.2. Your child is going to listen to each word. and figure out which word has a long A sound. Cap or cave? The correct answer is cave because it sounds like the letter A inside the word. When it sounds like the letter A, that's a long A sound. A is a short A sound. A for cave is correct. Which word has a long A sound? Sad. Safe. The right, correct answer is safe because it sounds like it has a letter A inside. Safe. Afe. It's not sad. That's short A. It's a long A sound. Safe. Wednesday. Wednesday. Writing work is this page. I can draw my tree and describe it. They're going to draw the sugar maple tree and describe it like it has red, orange, and yellow leaves or animals like squirrels live in it. Try to keep this the main idea. What do sugar maples look like is the focus. Next. Read your SIPS book. This time, you're not reading the decodable book. You're reading the SIPS book that your child did with me in their video lesson on Monday or Tuesday. There's a packet of SIPS books, and you will find what lesson number they're on. For example, if we read lesson 12, then you would have your child read lesson 12. After they read SIPs, they're going to do their sight words and vowels practice by reading this poem. They're going to circle the sight words what, when, and then. Then, when, when, what. You will also find this poem read aloud on my YouTube channel. Next, you're going to make a word slide. You're going to cut this box out and you're going to cut this strip out. Make sure to leave a little extra space on the top and on the bottom so the slider does not fall out. Make a cut here and here and insert the slide into the gaps so the students can read the ending ache with all these different letters. Some of the words will be make sense and some of them are nonsense words. B ache. That's a real word. K ache. That's a real word. D ache. That's a nonsense word. F ache. Fake is a real word. G ache. Gake is a nonsense word. Same with the ending ein. B ein. That's a nonsense word. K ein. Kein. That's a nonsense word. D 
ein, dein, that's a real word. Ein, fine, that's a real word. Next is your reading log. Again, read for 20 minutes. Next is your math work. You're going to watch this video and then do these worksheets. Then you will do fitness, go noodle. If you type this URL into the top browser, it will take you to the go noodle website. You should be able to pick, you should be able to log in for free and pick activities that you'd like to do. A lot of them are dance videos, just a way to move your body. The fitness section are just ideas and same with the making art section. If your child wants to do a different craft or a different fitness activity than these provided, that's okay. Just make sure that they get 20 minutes of exercise every day and 15 minutes at least to draw or do a craft or art project every day. Next on Wednesday is Raz Kids 15 minutes, IXL Math D.17. Again, you go to IXL, you click on math this time, you go to kindergarten, lesson D.717. So D.17, count tens and ones, which matches with our focus this week. There is one ten and eight ones. It is important that students see teen numbers as a group of 10 and more ones. Without the group of 10, the number would just be eight. With the group of 10, the number is 18. One ten, eight ones equals 18. Have your child say this sentence out loud. One ten, eight ones equals 18. Count the dots, two tens, no ones equals 20. One ten, seven ones. One ten, seven ones equals 17. Thursday. Again, trees expedition. On Wednesday, the focus was what does the tree look like and what is the main idea about the tree? My tree has red, yellow, and orange leaves. On Thursday, the focus is what does my tree need? When you look at the sugar maple tree text, it tells you exactly what that tree needs. It needs some water and some sun. Some trees need lots of water and lots of sun. But this tree needs some water and some sun, which is why the water droplet is only half full and the sun icon is only half full. Her child would write, the sugar maple tree needs some water and some sun, period. Next, you're going to read your SIPS book again, the level that they practiced in our reading lesson. They're going to do this long vowel slide practice. Sorry, this long vowel practice, not the slide. The slide practice was actually the day before. They're going to do this worksheet. They're going to circle the word. Is this a cat or a cat? It's a cat. 
Is this a man or a mane? The lion's mane with a long A. Is this a maz or a maze? It's a maze, long A. Is this a can or a cane? It's a can, short A. Is this a tag or a tag? It's a tag, short A. And they'll continue, circling the right word. Reading log on Thursday. Next for math on Thursday, this is the assessment or test for the week. Please wait to do this worksheet with me. If the child does it on their own, please try to let them do this worksheet by themselves so I can know as a teacher if your child needs any more help with teens or if they got it. If you help them too much and it looks like they got it, then I will not know that I need to help them. They're going to draw 14 dots, draw 17 dots. They're going to count how many dots there are and write the teen number. They're going to count how many dots there are, write the teen number. They're going to circle which number is more 11 or 15, which number is more 16 or 12. The next page, they will write how many tens and ones, just like the IXL lesson, how many tens and ones there are for this number. And this one, they will write the missing number, starting with 10, 11, 12, what goes between 12 and 14, what goes after 15. They will do their fitness activity for 20 minutes, their craft activity for 15 minutes, they will do their IXL lesson, Language Arts P.4. Again, go to IXL, click on Learning, this time click on Language Arts, Kindergarten, P.4. P, long vowels, makes sense. Four, long I, because they are learning long A and long I this week. Click the lesson. They will listen to each word. Which word has a long I sound? Bike or big? Which one has an I in the word? Bike, bike, I, I. It has an I in it, bike. This is the long I. Big has an I, 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 short I. Bike is right. Which one has a long I sound? Pin or pine? Pine has a long I, I. Pine is correct. Which word has a long I sound? Dive or dip? I, I, I is short I. Die, I, I has a long I sound. Friday. Friday, you have a book response for writing focused on the characters. Write the title, the author, and if there's an illustrator, person who draws the pictures. Your child will list the character's name and draw a picture of them. There might be one character or two or three or four. Draw how many there are in your story. Read your sis book and decodable on Friday. You will need to read Time to Bake and your sips book on Friday. You have a spelling practice worksheet on Friday. Please read these words aloud to your child and have them write them down. Chip, sand, lump, wish, grip, post, pest, lamp, bump, bend, chat, plum. All of these words have short vowels. There are no long vowels in this list. 
but there are digraphs and blends. Just do 10 at a time. You could do 10 Friday, 10 Saturday, 10 Sunday, or you could space these out during the week. We wanted to give it to them on Friday because we want them to have enough practice throughout the week before they spell. If you feel your child's ready to do, start this on Thursday or Wednesday, that's fine. It's up to you. Next is your reading log. After that, for math, you're going to complete the Making 10 worksheet. You're going to match the number 16 to the correct picture of 16 dots. Match the number 11 to the correct picture of 11 dots. Match the number 14 to the correct number of dots of 14, and so on. For this one, you will draw 15 dots, draw 19 dots, draw 18 circles with tens and ones, and draw 14 with tens and ones. Next, fitness, choose your own. You could do 20 jumping jacks, 10 jump ropes, run for five minutes, bike ride for 10 minutes. Create your own fitness activity. Draw your own making or art project. And RAS Kids and IXL. IXL is D.18 for math. Again, go to IXL. This time, click on math. Go to lesson D.18. Writing your tens and ones. This time there is no picture. We are hoping that students can understand that the one means 10 and the six means how many ones there are. So there's one group of 10 and six ones. Again, there's no picture. We are hoping students understand now that there's one group of 10 and the two means two ones in 12. In the number 17, there's one group of 10 and there are seven ones and so on. And that is the end of week five.